All right, welcome back. This is uh, episode number three of installing Unilights in a Viper Jet. Uh, this episode, we're going to install the spotlight and the um, uh, position light and strobe on the tip. So, first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to drill a hole in here. Um, I make I make so many of these, so I made up like a little tool to do this. Uh, it helps me guide where I want the hole. Once I, did, I did the other side, so this side should go pretty quick. So this pretty much just marks it. Forward hole is gonna be for the light and the aft hole is gonna be for the brake line. So now we're gonna unscrew this little fitting here. And I wasn't really a fan of these things when I first got these Viper Jets, but they seem to be working out pretty good. No one seems to have any issues with them, the way the connectors installed in these. So I'll pop this thing out here. So, you know, I mentioned that they take power off the, uh, the flap. So that's it right here. So you can get rid of all this stuff. This is basically just a Y harness right here that's gonna go away. So we're gonna put the flap back in there. You wanna make sure you got all your signal wires facing the right direction, which will be this way here. Oops. As all this fitting really does, it just, it just, you wanna make sure that these are all in about the same height. I don't like that. See, I don't like any of these here. They should be flush with that, uh, with this fitting right here, so I'll readjust them um, before I put it back together. That's thing you want is these things not being fully engaged when your wing starts bending. Okay, so the um, this can go away here. This is their uh, the lead for their light. Once again, it's going through the. Uh, your spark conduit so we're gonna pop this lens off here and we're gonna glue this back on after we trim it around the spotlight so I just pry this thing off most of the time it comes off clean there we go so they got their little cheesy lights in here um, this one you can pretty much just pop out Pretty good. You know, they just kind of hot glue this stuff in. This one you got to be careful because you want this little tang of foam to help mount the uh, tip light. So this you can keep it or chuck it, whatever you want to do. All right. So 
Now I got these little marks there. I want to make sure I'm not going to drill in any wires. I need to put about a 3 16 hole. There we go. Put a 3 16 hole in this for the uh, wire to come through. Now I'll drill the brake while I'm at it. Camper, so the uh, wires don't ride against that hard edge. There we go. Okay, so now we can start to cut in for the light. Or we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do one thing first. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So this is a spotlight. We're gonna use the Spot 12F-080 times 2-WE. Okay, eight watt. So I like to put the uh, light right about here, okay? But since I got that uh, spar in there, I, I actually notch the light so it doesn't, it, it, it'll sit flush with the foam. So the light's gonna go about here. Um, it's, I like to, to stick out of the lens about a tenth of an inch. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this and we're gonna notch this light. Okay, so give it a semi-decent mark here. You gotta be careful here that you don't hit these wires. So we're gonna make all this go away carefully. Let me double check this. Yep, that'll work. All right, so now to do this, you can either do one or two things. You can drum around the whole thing and just um, lightly poke through it and peel it away. What I've been doing to make it go quicker, I uh, have a bandsaw a little chunk here. I bandsaw the edge, the forward and aft edge, and then I uh, dremel along the uh, sides of it there. So you just want to cut through the metal and not any further. So you see I just started to cut through right there. And go just a little bit further right there. Just all that good. Now we're just going to uh, dremel this line here.
normally you can take a screwdriver and you can pop it. There we go. All right, so you just take out a chunk. Um, I'm going to deburr it a little bit here. All right, so you know, look down in there. We didn't cut the, any wires, that's good. And what they have back in here is uh, this white thing here, that's a thermal fuse. So uh, you don't wanna be cutting into that if you can help it. Um, okay. So now I wanna get a line on the wing where I wanna cut this thing. pencil here so I want it to end up you know kind of centered in there so we'll put a line there and a line there and then I you don't want to kick this way or that way so uh, I kind of hold this parallel with the tip there parallel with that There, there, and we'll get a end length here. Like that, so that all needs to go away. And you gotta leave room for your wires here to come around. So let's get the light to fit in there first. Let me grab my new product. We're gonna cut this with a razor blade first. Let me grab a sharp one. All right, so what I normally do is I just kind of V this thing on here, like that. So you can see there's the uh, that carbon spar here. And uh, I thought when I first started doing this, oh, I'm just gonna blast through it. And uh, it's probably not a good idea because this carbon spar, it goes pretty much all the way out to the tip and it's gonna help support the winglet. And uh, I don't think it'd be strong enough if you did do that. That's why I knocked around the thing. All right, so now I'm gonna Dremel that foam out some more and get the uh, light to fit down there. All
because when it's all said and done, the light just, it's gonna stick out just a touch on the back here, but uh, that's okay. So if we put like that over there, see it's sticking out just a touch. I'm over it. Um, I think that looks pretty good. So, you know, the light's gonna be sticking out a little bit here. Yeah, could go a little bit further forward. That's how I want it, just like that. That's exactly how I want it. Okay, so now we gotta get these wires are gonna go up to the uh, conduit here. So let me remember how I did this. So I got to Dremel out another little area here. Okay, and there's gonna be a, a bunch of connections we gotta do with heat shrink and all that, so I'm gonna make this area here quite a bit wider. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna cut that about eighth inch, or a quarter inch deep. some of this extra here, just get it out of the way. You'll be uh, using these connectors um, when we go to splice everything into the uh, controller in a couple more videos. All right, so now let's go ahead and we gotta feed in the, uh, the wire that we took out of the conduit. I gotta, so I just, I just, Pre-made like a, this is like, um, I think it's like a 20 or a 22 gauge. I buy it from Servo City. I really like their wire. And I just put on an end here, to just, you know, a normal end like we did uh, on the vertical tip. And we got to feed this up through the, uh, the spar. So I make up a, probably do a pull wire here. Let's see here, we gotta do it this way. We're gonna feed this down. And then we need to grab it through the hole. There it is right there. And once again, I want to use the forward hole. There we go. So if you don't do the pull wire, it's going to fight you every inch. So now we're just going to solder on a, um, solder this onto here real quick.
doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to hold. All right, so now we're gonna pull this through. Crap. Wasn't pretty enough. Take two. for this. That ain't coming off. Lop that off here. So that's what it's going to look like out here. As you can see why I kind of countersunk that a little bit so the wires, when they come out of the connector, they don't write on that sharp edge. But that's how that's going to be. Okay, so now we got the uh, tip light here. And uh, I went ahead and I installed the... Uh, copper heat sink like we did on the vertical nothing special make sure you got the right color light I got it marked with an R here for red red on the uh, left wing so uh, we're ready to uh, locate this so on this I pretty much just drill a little bitty hole for this right there So that's how that goes here. So then I'm just gonna tack that on with some CA. That's why we wanted to keep that little chunk of foam back here. Just like that. That's all it's doing. Okay. So that's going to fit in the lens for the wingtip. So now we can go ahead and stick this in here and then it's just a matter of wiring everything up. Check the position right here. That looks good. I'm just going to tack this in with a couple dabs. That's about all you need. All right, so now, just a matter of wiring all this stuff up and don't get overwhelmed, there's nothing to it. So this is gonna go in there like that. And what I like to do is I like to leave a mark where I'm gonna cut all my wires. So I would like to 
have my wires in right about that mark there. That's that. And these will go in here like that. I'll trim them there. Now this thing here, you got, there's some type of, um, off some of this extra here. There's some type of um, trigger or something or resistor right there. I'm not quite sure what it was. It was a little bit long. I didn't like the position it was, so I cut it and I spliced in this wire here to make it a little bit more ergonomic for me to, I gotta go in here like that, fold it back, and we're gonna Go back here. We're going to trim it right at that mark again. Okay. And on this wire right here, I'm going to trim that right there. And now we got them all cut to length. Now, if you remember in the uh, last video, I said it was very important that the twisted black wire here goes to the yellow. So we're gonna do that one first. And I do this, it's because I like the red and the green light to be on all the time and the strobe flashing. If you don't do it this way, they're, it's gonna be flashing all the time on the uh, position light and uh, I don't want that. So the twisted black, on the tip light goes to the yellow. So now we can strip them back. So that's about 20 gauge. And then this one here, it's a real tiny one. Okay, so now these two can go together here. I'm just gonna go ahead and solder these so they don't fall apart. a little bit okay so now what we got left here is we got three blacks and uh, three orange or red okay so let's do all of no yeah let's do these blacks so we're gonna strip this back position okay solder that up Now we got these 
these three orange and reds. Just the lengths of some of these. All right, Let's solder these up. So after you got the wing done, the rest of this project, there's nothing to it. Shrink these up real quick. And then we'll show you how we nestle all these in this little cavern. We don't melt the foam doing this. Now all the connections are made, you know, once again, the most important part was the twisted um, black on the tip gets connected to the yellow. So now we're gonna lay all these in here. Sometimes you gotta open up the slot a little bit more. That's looking pretty good, really. And then I just kinda put a dab of CA to kinda hold these in place. like that so now you know you can get you can do whatever you want for a cover I just normally put masking tape on it and uh, paint it yeah, if you want to make a little fiberglass cover you can on this uh, you need to uh, kind of drum it out here like on this wing you know just 
kind of cut a slot there and then, uh, you know, just kind of you know, Dremel it, rotary file, sand it, whatever, to uh, get it to clear that light. And um, that's it. So now we're going to test the thing. Make sure I didn't mess up. So I've got my little tester here. We're going to use the, uh, this is the actual Unilite controller. Um, I got this little test thing here, which is going to simulate the way we hook it up to the uh, uh, board here. Like that. And we got the battery. Okay. So, so once again, the The, the, this controller here, it's, it's, it's like a servo, okay? So, you know, depending on what position you have your travel volume on your light channel is how this is gonna work, okay? So right now they're off, and if, once, once I get it to the right position, the spotlight should be on, the red light should be on, and then this light should be strobing. There we go. That's the position I wanted. Now you can um, you can play around with the controller after it's all said and done to change the bleaking sequence however you want it, but uh, that's what it's supposed to do. So uh, I did everything right. And then if you go all the way on the controller, everything goes on. You know, it's, it's a pretty neat little unit. Okay, so that's about gonna cover it for um, this episode uh the next time i do something we're going to be mounting the uh lights on the top and bottom of the uh, fuselage and the nose light and once we get them in it's it's pretty much just the matter of uh running all the wires up to the control board and splicing them in all right thanks for watching